The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 459 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga, the Bloodline. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Things are about to get good. And their opponents, first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Chris. This superstar doesn't get paid by the minute. They just get in there, beat somebody up, and leave. Well, that's kind of a miserable existence, if you ask me. I don't see what's so miserable about that, Byron. But then again, I see this superstar for who they are, not your projections. Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. Here comes the prize fighter. A man who always looks ready for a fight. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! A major name before WWE, but now has a Hall of Fame-worthy resume. He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania, and KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing. Fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action is now underway. The tag team match is a classic staple of this business. It's the ultimate test of teamwork and in-ring timing. Yeah, for partners to compete at a high level here, they have to form one truly exceptional unit, which is definitely easier said than done. High angle belly of back suplex. He knew that was coming. Up they go. Oh, atomic drop. Out, DDT connects. He takes control. My oh my, what elevation! Hoisted up, double underhook, weaves out, and a clothesline counter. Talk about cocky, gloating after placing the knee on the back of the neck. Oh, what a clothesline. Oh, God. Enzigiri. Boom, what impact. Tossed into the...
the corner. There's a tag. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. He thinks he has it. Kicks out of the pinfall attempt. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Held in a perilous position. Driven down face first. that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Dribbling the up makes the cover. Whoa. Oh, my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Oh, my goodness. And the brunt of all that impact goes right to the head. What a barrage. Play impossible. Shoulders down. Strong kick out. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, just bounce that face like a basketball. Impressive counter by KO. Boom! Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Tagged into action. a perfectly placed target evading offense and a well executed move we just saw there a little sizzle before the stake <laughs> he's returning fire close line off with their head vicious right forearm might be starting to set in. Able to get there in time. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Pitch! Blow! Could be felt throughout the arena. Get into a close line. He's on his heels a bit now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Driven down in a fisherman buster. See, he is feeling it now. Belly to belly. Whip on the apron. And close line. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. Into the corner now. absorbed some damage already. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Oh, a knee! Lights out. I don't know how there's anything left in these superstar bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. 
Sokoa is focused on finishing this. Rear. Uh oh. Good timing with that reversal. Sakoa holding him at bay. Oh, uncorked a big punch. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. Oh, look at this arm wrench. Leg Larry with the arm wrench. Very nice. Tags him in. Running FTO plants him. Nice done. Big drop of the leg. He's going for the pin. This could be it. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Oh, back elbow. Kale feeling the full force of that attack. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Uh oh, winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. Sokoa is going up top. Look out! That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh, and look the power bomb! For the win! We may be moments away from Solo's demise. Uh-oh! Stop! That could put Solo down for good. Shoulders down. Oh, he kicked out. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Owens has ended so many matches with that, but not today. The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to... Soaring. The Frost connects. Celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Well, it was a great. Well, well, we got another superstar. He's, uh, I guess, adding to the celebration, showing his appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. Here comes Montel Vontavious Porter, otherwise known as MVP. Those are more than just initial Saxton. He's been a main event talent for decades. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 
One of the greatest minds in this industry. MVP has led countless others to success. Yeah, but MVP does not let those others hold him back. He's always, always scheming up something. Here's a man who is no stranger to the sweet taste of success. And he knows how to get a win. MVP will win by any means necessary. Oh, are you guys ready? And his opponents, first from New York, weighing in at 287 pounds. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. Here comes the assassin of the OC, Carl Anderson. Anderson looks angry, focused, and ready for vengeance. And representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson! The machine gun returned to WWE fully loaded. Anderson was still a top champion in Japan when he rejoined WWE. And now he's ready to take even more titles in WWE as well. Plenty of aggression, determination on the face of Anderson. If you're standing across the ring from him, that's just too bad. A little one-on-one -on -one action here. A triple threat is possibly one of the most challenging matches a superstar can agree to. No rules, no friends. And even if you were friends beforehand, a triple threat match makes enemies of everyone. It's easy to overthink going into this match, but the best way to ensure victory here is to adapt to every moment. Knee drop. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Uh-oh. That catches MVP looking. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope. Oh, kendo stick right to the head. Has Carl in his... Uh-oh. Blow to the abdomen, gets them out of that. Uh-oh, watch out! Double rusted leg sweep! Alliances in this situation don't last long. Let's see how quickly this develops. I on the counter. Double the attack! In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't. And will this be it? And he stops the count. Lucky him.
Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Boom! And a big boot, big flying forearm. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Nicely done. Wait a second, wait a second, German suplex. That could have been it right there. Set up for the front leg sweep. Nicely done. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, and Anderson proved his win streak is a mile wide with that attack. He turns it around. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Bad predicament right here. Lands face first. Into the corner. This can't be good. A little rope assistance. Punishing their opponent. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. as damaging as his actions. Draped over the top rope. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Oh, Carl answers back. Atomic drop. Ooh. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you're threat match. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway. And the referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. We knew this was going to get out of hand. I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. We need to restore some sort of order. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. 
That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Devon gets intercepted. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Fisherman's Buster. Is it enough? One, two count just after two. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Suplex. At times, Tony D'Angelo seems more focused on the success of his family than his own success in WWE. It might seem like that, Cole, but make no doubt about it. Tony's success is his main <sighs> impetus. A family is only as powerful as their Don, and Tony D is well aware of that. Dominating shoulder tackle. <clears throat> Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Down he goes. Delivering nasty stops. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Crank in the head. Saw that one coming. Good defense. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Shoulder tackle. And now Tony is getting beaten down. Yvonne is showing no mercy out there. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Yvonne Dudley heads up high. Taking flight. Diving close line. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. One, two, oh, he kicked out. Not yet. Yeah. Delivers an axe handle. He may be in a bad way here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. He deflects it right back. Big four on. This is going to be stiff. Boom! Backdrop suplex. Yeah, Devon now trying to capitalize. There's some power behind that punch. Straight to the knee. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Back elbow blows that one out. Wow, long up belly. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He is looking to do some serious harm. Bang, vicious boot. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Devon with a kick to the guts. Turns his opponent over now. And there is saving grace. Devon can have this one. Turn around. The pin! The referee is missing the pin! The cover! One, two, Hangs on by a thread! His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Counters that. Kick 
to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Stomp in the leg. You can't take much more of this. Not what you want to see by any means. Watch out. But oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Taken to the air and completely wiping out. Devon got caught with the reversal. Turns it around. Sole the foot meets the stump. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. To the arm track. Quick reversal. Competition at its finest. This is what it's all about. Yeah, these competitors are refusing to back down. And that's what everyone loves to see. Almost inhuman at this point. Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. Coming back after being on the receiving end of an underhanded attack and winning it all? Impressive? Doesn't even begin to describe it. Some might say lucky does, though. Oh, no, this is not luck. This is fortitude. This is grit, Corey. Here he comes, adrenaline-fueled Hall of Famer. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate warrior. One thing we know, the spirit of the warrior will live forever. Without question, tonight is a battle that we will never forget. You can't help but feel the warrior's energy pulsing through your own veins. Listen to these people. What? I said listen to these people.
Grayson Waller is in full effect. You think he could maybe dial it down to half? And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! Oh, that was ugly. Catching the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. Looks like the referee is getting frustrated trying to get them to bring it to the ring. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh. Get slammed down. Facing off on the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Hoist it up. And that definitely made solid impact. A uh, deadlift. Look at this power. Power slam. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. And the so-called Grayson Waller effect didn't exactly shine through there. Yeah, and that's an example of Warrior's powerful force. This can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Boom! What a right! Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Burkina Clutch! Cocaine a clutch, nowhere to go, but there is a way to break it. Deconstructing the knee there. Warrior encouraging his opponent to bring everything he has. Setting up. Nice suplex. He's looking a little weary now. Ultimate Warrior just letting himself run wild. We'll see if he can maintain that unmatched energy. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, and he stays ahead of Warrior. Oh, man, what a boot. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Into the corner. Face first. Drop kick, making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Tossing them aside. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. That kick will stop me you in your tracks. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Turned inside out. His shoulders are down. This has to be a frustrating loss for Grayson Waller. Waller can't let this moment dictate his future. He has to shake this off and use it as fuel to his fire.
The man is here. A competitor who never backs down from a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The man has shown where there's smoke, there's fire. And she has taken it as her mission to reinvigorate the level of competition in every women's division. Becky Lynch has made it clear for anyone who's big game hunting that the man's not hard to find. She's inviting the competition to take their best shot. The man is the personification of guts and passion. Becky's built an amazing career by seizing the opportunity. Oh, the man will make you famous. The smartest thing to do is keep her name out of your mouth altogether. Unfortunately for the opposition tonight, it's far too late for that. One of the hardest working competitors in all of NXT. Ivy Nile. Representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee. Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. Well, one thing is you have to answer Becky's amazing in-ring IQ and willingness to do anything to win. Well, if she can find the right strategy, it'll change her career. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Sent into the corner. Oh, impressive counter. Way to steer clear. Oh, and she got out of there. Ouch. <laughs> Becky holds her off. She's fighting back. Nile has her clutched. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Lynch now on the offensive. Great job anticipating either. Uh oh Flipped over into an arm drag there. Uh-oh. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Right to the midsection. Becky Lynch tends to put it all on the line when facing an opponent. That has to be an uphill battle for her opponent here, Corey. Well, it's not going to be easy to overcome that fighting spirit of Becky's, but at times, Becky can overestimate herself and push her body too far in the ring. I'm not saying that's going to happen tonight, but it's something her opponent needs to be aware of. Toss back into the ring. to the swift chop block. And an elbow drop to the arm. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Able to get out of the way. Uh-oh. Turned that one around. A torturous knee. Raining down elbows. Oh, uh, check uh, this out. A little insult to injury. Yeah. Oh, sit out slam. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Caught by the back of the elbow. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? It's 
snap suplex. Ivy Nile playing to the crowd now. Clothesline right to the back of the neck. The advantage is turned toward Ivy. I don't know if Becky's pushed herself too far, but her opponent was able to overcome her fighting spirit there. All the way over. Becky definitely felt every last bit of that blow. They've definitely taken their lumps from the top. Oh, Can she keep her down? Measuring a face stop. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And that could be a first step towards Becky gaining control. She was getting grinded down, but that could have just started a quick turnaround. Basement drop kick. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Big knee to the midsection. A oh, nice hip toss. And an elbow drop to the arm. Here's the cover. Kicks out at just one. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Just kick to the spine. She might be in some trouble now. That was a big time onslaught from Lynch. Kick to the back. Systematic attack on the arm from Becky. Ivy is losing grip of this match now. Lynch is being smart and not letting up. Oh, and Ivy caught her. And Nile is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Yeah, Nile get time for her to go home. Oh, no. Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. And she breaks the count. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. <laughs> a display of force. One face lock applied, has the leg up. Swinging Fisherman Neckbreaker. Look out! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Becky Lynch rolls through and she's right into the disarmer. She's going to tap. She and she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. The man setting her up for the manhandle slam. Does that finish Ivy off? Two. Oh, she's still alive. Sure, that was not a three count. You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. And Becky Lynch is nothing if not a thinking woman's competitor. Surely she's already thinking about her next steps. But I'll tell you, I thought this superstar was out of this match, but apparently not. What a comeback! I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Now, we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. Big knee to the midsection. Big form. Lynch setting up for something. Backsploder. This could be it. here. This one was tough for Ivy Nile. She just couldn't overcome this fight.
The Queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the Divas Champion, Charlotte Flair! A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. Here comes the Submission Magician. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, oh, get out of here. This woman has asked for an opportunity. She's now getting the opportunity. Now the question is, what does she do with said opportunity? Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Look at this, going counter for counter. Shayna showing her technique. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Charlotte loves to slow a match down to a pace that suits her and her game plan. Would you agree, Corey, that the key to taking Charlotte down would be to refuse to work her pace? Absolutely, Cole. You keep a faster pace, you keep up your chance at disorienting Charlotte, or better yet, having her make a grave mistake while attempting to keep up. Nice standing backbreaker and takedown. Placed in the corner. What a right hand! Uh oh. Enabled to counter. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Toss. Oh! Knee right to the jaw. Good night. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Oh, and a running knee lift by Baszler. She adjusts it and reverses it. Tough position to be caught in here. Can't prepare your face for that. And Shayna was the one getting broken down on that exchange. The Queen came into this match with the express purpose of putting a beating on a peasant. And that was a step closer to it. Counter by Charlotte. Oh, setting them up, gonna hoist them up high. 
All the way up and all the way down. Fall away slam. A nice kip up. Ooh. Right across the back of the neck. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Arm stop. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. My God, what a striking display. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. She's pushed into the corner. She got her down. Is this it? Gets the shoulder up. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Flawless takedown. Lands an elbow. Yoka Suka Cutter. And with that, you can just see how absolutely pleased Baszler is with herself at this point. As she should be. Charlotte with the spear. That's Charlotte showing what it means to be the epitome of excellence. Often imitated, never duplicated. Baszler dodges it. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, look at mounting it now. The oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Striking at will. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Baszler setting her sights and lining her up. Shayna Baszler up and out. Into the submission. Is she going to tap? Charlotte Flair, and for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Oh. And she had Charlotte's number there. Oh, driving the elbow. Chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Does Charlotte cap this Makes off? Makes a cover. She kicks out. I don't believe it. Wow. Somehow, Shayna Baszler was able to kick out and remain in this match. Baszler's a fighter to her very core. Launching. Diving splash from the top. Incredible impact. Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Trouble! In trouble! Tap out! She's got to tap out! She's going to get... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. And an elbow. Axe handle. Uh-oh. She's 
scores big with the counter. Oh, effective body blow. What a Charlotte way laser. She saw it. And they are looking to put this thing away. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Shayna Baszler. Just remember, a defeated Queen of Spades is an angry, dangerous Queen of Spades. The animal has arrived. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now, Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. success both in the ring and in Hollywood which is insane because for some reason the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough well no question about it Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight
Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Jeff Harvey! I don't know if there's a more fearless competitor in all of WWE than this one. Uh, they're fearless, all right. Before the match even starts, they have the entire WWE Universe heckling them. Well, Saxton, you make it to commentary every night under the same circumstances, so I guess that makes you fearless, too? Uh, thanks. has made it back to the ring and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Whoa, countering with a chop block will halter any attack. Setting him up for the flatliner. What a crossbody. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Wow. Oklahoma slam. What a barrage of stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. It's easy to see why Batista has been one of the most feared superstars in all of WWE. What do you have to do to overcome that fear and take down this big man, Corey? Simply put, Cole, be quick and be accurate. You're not going to take down a Redwood like Batista with one giant... Unbelievable athleticism! <laughs> Into the armbar! Scores his way out. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Dodge. Yeah, there's a clothesline. Atomic drop will stop them in their place. Ooh, leg drop right to the midsection. And then the basement drop kick. Compromised position here. All the way to the floor. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk Whoa. slam. He gets out of the way. Snap suplex. Face buster. Denied with an elbow. Oh, spy buster by Batista. What a pulverizing move from Batista. The animal has mastered the ability to render an opponent motionless. Oh, he fights Batista back. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Batista is just playing with his food right now. And Batista picks up the win here. Here is your winner, the Batista! The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. When a match is decided by count out, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone.
We are about to see something good. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. He may not be defending the championship tonight, but his pride is always on the line. Coming down from on high. Wow. One of the very best to ever do it. Shawn Michaels. His opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the WWE European Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! The passion that Shawn Michaels has for this business is truly indescribable. Being in the ring is heaven on earth to him. Michaels loves this industry. He loves the competition. He loves the fans. And they love him back. He's given so much, done so much, and the fans thank him for it.
Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Shifts it back onto him. Being carried around with ease. Check your face after that one. Counters. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. from Michaels. He foiled that attempt. Electric chair. Wait a minute. Flip the script with a hurricane Rana. Michael saves himself. Uh-oh. Defiant counter from HBK. Taking it to the shoulder. Turns it around. You never see that coming. Shawn Michaels' offense comprises of so many forms. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Uh-oh. Counters. This could be an opportunity. He is delivering elbow after elbow. And he gets the better of HBK. Oh, he retaliates. Just one step ahead. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Now he's been put on the defensive. Launching himself from the ropes. Hoist it up. Gut buster. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Got it scouted. Up and down. Power bomb. Oh, oh. hold it on. Hold it on. Power bomb. A third time. And he goes for the pin. Pushes through after two. He got close. scouted there. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Oh, continuing to punish them. Things are... And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Up high. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. And this has got to be it. No, two count. How in the world did he kick out? DDT. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, oh, oh. He's able to fend off the attack. Michaels with the awareness. Sweet chin music from out of nowhere. Sean nailed it. Cover. Two. What in the world? Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance. I'll give you that. And Michaels is so used to ending matches like this. Tonight is not going to be an easy one for HBK. Counter. And now there's an opening. Able to. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. Oh, this one. Oh, he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Michael's got it all with the flop. This is it. Kicks out. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Oh, look at this, raining right hands. Does not stop blows. 
And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event. Here's a cover. Could be it. for Shawn Michaels here in this one. I sit here in total disbelief. A difficult loss for the Heartbreak Kid. I did not think HBK would come out on the losing side of this match. Ah, I can feel it. Excitement for this match here among the WWE fans. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. from behind. A sneak attack. Why? Why? Obviously, this rivalry is far from over. Someone, someone stop them, please. So much disdain between these two. Just can't be contained. And hostilities boiled over between these superstars before they even got in the ring. Now we have a brawl on our hands. I knew a little thing like throwing the match out wouldn't stop them. This is serious. Someone needs to separate them. Elbow finds its mark. Oh, and Fiend gets cut off. And now thrown back into the ring. Given the no disqualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics should you expect to see here? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. DDT planted him. Great strength being shown here. Oh, you are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Delivers the cross body. Down to Bonin, and a double axe handle smash. Oh my goodness, ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh! Catches a punch. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Ooh! Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Two titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. A fixated fiend in wait. Oh, he's shoving it down his throat. Forget about it. Good night. Will feed end it here? Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh, count. Nap time on the island of relevancy. And this one is over. 